Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Road Trip Series. Today, we're going to be looking at this 1956 Ford F100 Series truck. And I got to say, I'm a sucker for all these old style trucks, the square bodies and everything. And I got to say, this truck actually does look pretty freaking fantastic. Uh, one thing though is there was supposed to be a trailer that came with it. But I could not find it in any of the uh, dealerships to purchase. So I'm wondering if it's just the trailer that we actually have to purchase on our own. But we're just going to go without the trailer today. And I got to say, this truck absolutely looks freaking, freaking, freaking fantastic. Um, so yeah, one of the things about Road Trip Series is that we just kind of go to places that we actually have not visited before. The maps that are already in-game. So today, we're actually going to be out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we're going to be taking a drive all the way down here to Roswell, Artesia, Carlsbad, and Hobbs. And just kind of go around this area here. So yeah, that is what we're basically going to be rolling with today. Um... But yeah, it's a very nice looking mod, and I'll have it down, linked down in the description below if you guys do want to check it out as well. Let's go ahead and start this puppy up. Listen to that. Got lights and everything. Brights, headlights, all that fun stuff. Look at our dude just kind of chilling with his hand on the side there. And we do, don't got a hand there once we get in the interior. But here's a look at the interior. It looks like a very nice looking old truck and everything. Looks pretty freaking fantastic. We don't got a GPS unfortunately, so we're going to have to roll with this today. But it does look pretty, pretty cool. Very cool. Very, very cool stuff. I'm very happy that this actually works in this version of the game because it was made for 1.35. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop out on the road. And let's go ahead and head on down to Artesia. I believe that's where we're going. Is our first stop. It actually sounds like a truck too. And we almost wrecked again. You look at the dude in the mirror that's pretty cool that you actually have the guy like in your mirror which is awesome it's very 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 awesome uh, I, I under, it looks like we are kind of low a little bit so once we get up to the stoplight I'll uh, adjust the settings and stuff like that there we go that looks a lot better here we go with the green light now though but that actually looks so much better but yeah guys hope you guys are having an awesome day so far you guys are having an awesome day um, not sure when this is actually going to go up, but it will be going up uh, soon enough. But I'm not exactly sure what day it will be going up, though. One of the things I did notice about this is that the turn signals do not shut off automatically. So that's something we're going to have to keep in mind when we keep doing this, unfortunately. But yeah, we're going to be visiting um, Albuquerque to Roswell, Artesia, Carlsbad, and Hobbs. So we're just going to be taking a look at New Mexico today for the most part make a right hand turn up here we're gonna beat this light there we go perfect 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 I'm gonna turn on these high beams here doesn't really do much I think I threw in a new a different mod for the high beams and stuff like that so I think I did throw in a different mod for it we don't want to be getting off at this exit here maybe we do maybe we do want to get off at this exit here uh not sure which one I'm assuming Santa Rosa yeah, it is this one, and yeah, we're going definitely to Santa Rosa. Oh, well, maybe not. Yep, Santa Rosa for sure. All right, 40 East. Here we go. Here we go. So we basically get XP for um, driving free room, which is awesome, but our mirror is completely fucked right there, as you guys just saw. It's kind of weird. Very, very weird. Game is stuttering quite a bit. Game is stuttering quite a bit. Not sure why. Not sure why. Okay, this is definitely hard to control, this vehicle right here. Definitely, definitely very hard to control. We're going to hop in this left-hand lane here to get these guys some room. Definitely speedometer is not uh, calibrated properly because you see we're going 60, 70 miles an hour. But it only says we're going about little bit like 42 miles an hour so definitely not calibrated properly as we turn on the cruise control here but yeah guys very nicely done looking truck model I, I like I said I enjoy the old trucks and stuff like that so I'm very excited for this very very excited for this one other thing that I'm very like excited for and I know you guys are probably gonna think I'm a fat fuck for this but there is a 
a company that has announced that they're making a Mountain Dew scented body wash. Now, if you guys know me, I have an addiction to Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is my all-time favorite pop to drink of all time and stuff. So I am highly addicted to Mountain Dew. And I kind of read an article a few weeks ago stating that there was going to be a Mountain Dew body wash coming out. So I'm like, fuck yeah. Only to come find out that it was like a limited time only and like only like I think 250 bottles were made. So I was kind of pissed about that. But I'm hoping that they can actually make a uh, permanent thing out of that. Because that would be pretty cool. You fucking just smell like Mountain Dew all the time. That's pretty cool. I mean Mountain Dew should honestly sponsor me because I drink a lot of it. I got a Mountain Dew shirt. I have hell I have Mountain Dew boxers for Christ's sake. When the Dew General store was a thing, I ended up getting so many prizes for Mountain Dew. Like, I got two pairs of Mountain Dew socks. I got a Baja Blast hat. Mountain Dew bandana. I don't even use bandanas, but I got a Mountain Dew bandana. I was aiming to get a Mountain Dew speaker, but I kept forgetting to enter the codes in. I didn't have enough points to do it, so I kind of screwed myself over on that one, unfortunately. But, yeah. And then there was also... Kayla actually showed me a thing. There is like candles that actually look like a Mountain Dew can that actually smell like Mountain Dew. They're like soy candles type deal. And I'm like, I kind of want to pick one up, but like one candle is like $12.99, so I'm not too sure about the price on that. But I do want to pick one up because they look pretty cool, and I want to see if that actually smells like Mountain Dew. Because back when I used to vape, um, uh, there was this ma a flavor that was like Baja Blast flavor that I had the, from two different companies, and I got to say it was probably one of the best flavors I've ever had. Except for one, this one smoke shop, vape smoke shop I went to, had this like flavor called Sex on the Beach, which is like um, kind of like a strawberry coconut type deal, which was very cool. And then there was a dirty uh, another one, which was Dirty Blonde, which was like a vanilla cupcake type uh, flavor. But I got to say the Baja Blast flavor was one of my all-time favorites for back when I actually vaped. I don't vape anymore, though. I still have like my vapes and stuff. I just don't do it anymore. But I might end up just, you know, trying to do it so I can, like, you know, use up the liquids and stuff like that. So I don't, you know, they don't go to waste and everything. But yeah, if you guys do vape, I'm not telling you to vape. But if you guys do and you guys like Baja Blast from Taco Bell, I'll try to link it down in the description below um, for the product of stuff. Actually, no, I'm not going to link it down below because I don't want to, like, promote smoking on the channel. But yeah, vape or Baja Blast vape flavor, which was amazing. I don't want to be a left lane left left lane hog here. But another thing is that if you guys remember D or Mountain Dew Maui Burst, which is like the pineapple um, flavor that was a Dollar General exclusive that happened like I think it was like like late last year. Mountain Dew announced that it is now an actual permanent flavor. Um, and then of course they had the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar now, which was a which is like supposed to be regular Mountain Dew. But was no sugar. It, honestly, I tried it already because you know me, I'm a sucker and I gotta try the new Dews. It actually tastes the same as regular Mountain Dew, but you just don't taste all the sugar. But it pretty much tastes the same, to me at least, as Mountain Dew. And um, the although the zero sugar Baja Blast that Taco Bell has is absolutely disgusting. But the I looked at a uh, bottle of it for like the logo and stuff and like the. Uh, Thing. And actually, the bottle looks pretty cool with the logo it's got going on with it. Looks like we're actually going to be getting off here at Santa Rosa. But yeah, the bottle looks pretty, pretty cool. And then I saw that there was an actual flavor from Japan that made its way to the U.S., which is like an FYE exclusive. And if you guys don't know what FYE is, it is probably one of the best, like, nerd stores out there. It's basically kind of like a GameStop. For the most part, the fuck just happened there? I don't, I think this truck is making my game stutter because when I first loaded it in, my game was like non-stop, like lagging, freezing, all that fun stuff. So I'm wondering if this truck is like a heavy, heavy ass mod, but I've had heavier truck mods in, so I don't really understand why this is causing so much damage. But yeah, a little weird. You see there in the mirror, you see my reflection. See my reflection. But yeah, it came out with a, uh, not came out, but it is a flavor that is like exclusive to Japan. And it's like an actual grape flavor. So not like um, Pitch Black. And my honest opinion on Pitch Black is I never actually cared for it. But, but yeah, so they get kind of like an actual grape grape flavor. And it's available for a short time at FYE. It's like $5 for one can, which 
if I had an FYE around me, I would definitely go. The closest one is about an hour and a half away from me, which ain't a bad of a drive, but I don't really want to drive there for a $5 can of Mountain Dew, unfortunately. But yeah, that's coming. I don't know if that's already out or if it's still coming. I think it's already out, but if it ha if it is, it's already gone, unfortunately. Um, I also tried the Sam's Club exclusive Typhoon Berry, and honestly, it's not one that I would drink for, like, on the daily. I don't really care for I didn't really care for it honestly um, I thought it was gonna be more of like a Baja blast type deal not with the lime and stuff like that like more of a Baja blast but with the lime or with the berry flavoring but it to me it just didn't really taste too good and I just didn't care for it um, haven't tried the sweet lightning one yet from KFC but I really do want to try it. We never go out to KFC because Kayla doesn't really care for KFC. So we barely ever go out to KFC. But I'm going to go ahead and pass this truck here. Just because I don't want to get stuck behind him this entire trip. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. No passing zone, no passing zone, no passing zone. There we go. There we go. But yeah, I feel like I need a sponsorship from fucking Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, where are you at, bro? I need a sponsorship from you guys. I drink, all your, I drink a lot of your stuff. I collect a lot of your stuff. I need a sponsorship. <laughs> but there was actually this one YouTuber I was watching. He's like a, um, a chef YouTuber, one of those deals. And this guy has actually made ice cream, cheesecake, brownies, pancakes with Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew pancakes with Mountain Dew syrup, Mountain Dew brownies, Mountain Dew cheesecake, and Mountain Dew ice cream. And I'm sitting here thinking I have never even thought of any of this kind of stuff. And I'm not going to say this whole episode's about me talking about Mountain Dew. I was going to say, I hope I can bypass the way station. I need to know where I'm turning over here. I think I'm over here. I'm turning over here. I'm going to do a stop sign here. 256 for gas at the Texaco. A little on the pricey side, but not bad. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah, this whole video is not going to be here, me talking about Mountain Dew. Because now we're actually going to be talking about a couple other different sodas that are coming out that I've read about for the last couple, or coming out in the next couple months or so that I've read about. Um, Dr. Pepper's coming out with some two new flavors for Dr. Their Dr. Pepper lineup. It's going to be birthday cake and cream soda coming out this year. So the cream soda is going to have like a diet and a regular. Birthday cake, I believe, is going to be just a regular. But it's um, cream soda is going to be kind of a nice addition because they do have like A&W cream soda. So cream soda with that Dr. Pepper cherry taste, like spicy cherry taste, would be freaking phenomenal. Um, Pepsi and Coca-Cola are coming out with coffee infused soda with double the caffeine. So I'm very excited to try that. Honestly, that'd be a very cool thing to try. Although Pepsi announced it first, Coke did copy it, unfortunately. But Coke is coming out with a standalone new flavor as well. It's like a vanilla float flavor. And honestly, I'm not much of a Coke drinker myself. I'm more Pepsi. But these are some flavors that I would actually try. The vanilla float, I would honestly try. Uh, Dr. Pepper is not one of my like go-to sodas, but it is still a good, pretty good tasting soda. But yeah, Coke is coming out with a vanilla, caramel, and a dark blend. Three different flavors for it, which I'm definitely going to be trying all three of them. And now, I might do like a little review on them as well if I once I get them. I might do like a review video on them. Because there's a couple different like mukbang videos and stuff that I kind of want to try out and doing and whatnot for the channel. But definitely going to do a review on them. Pepsi is coming out with two only two flavors, vanilla and original. And yeah. But those are some of the new sodas that are the new pops that I have seen coming out within like the next couple months or so. So I just figured I'd give you guys a heads up if you guys are pop drinkers or you guys like coffee and you guys want some double the caffeine. Definitely try the coffee infused sodas. Mountain Dew's got some cool stuff coming out as well. Uh, I know there's supposed to be four new flavors coming out. There's like a, um, it's called a Freeze, which is coming out in the spring. Um, supposedly it's like a whiteout copy from what the rumors are. Not 100% certain what it's actually going to be though. But it seems like it's going to be a good flavor. And then I heard there was like four other new flavors coming out that haven't been announced yet. But they're just kind of rumors so I don't want to like go ahead and talk about them and say okay well they're not true. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for my pop talk. I was just kind of rambling on and on and on about it. But I just wanted to let you guys know about the new stuff that's coming out with Mountain Dew and all that fun stuff. But yeah, guys, if you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure you hit that like button. 
thumbs up button at, or uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I greatly, so greatly appreciate it if you guys would show show your support to the channel and everything. And of course, this fucking truck driver is gonna piss me off. But yeah, sure you guys support to the channel and everything. If you are enjoying, also make sure you check out my other videos as we're almost ran off the road here. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying, do make sure you check out my other videos as well as hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Looks like we're going to be coming in over here. Keep going straight. We're just going to chill in this right lane here because I know we're probably going to have to make a turn here soon. Not sure which way, though. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. I do post all my updates on Twitter. Mainly, mainly the updates are posted on Twitter. So if you guys do ever want to know why there's no upload or anything, it'll be posted on Twitter for the most part. But it looks like we have to get into our world map here because we're not in Roswell. Okay, so we'll just keep going straight down and we'll hit Roswell. Okay. Works for me. Works for me. And then we'll just head on to the other cities as well. So it's going to be a nice little road trip. Very nice little road trip. But yeah, if you guys also do want to check me out, I do got a Facebook and Instagram for the page. And I do have a personal private or personal Flickr page that I'm going to start uploading photos to. So if you guys do want to check it out, make sure you guys add me on there. We got iFlop. Kind of like an iHop and iFlop. That's pretty cool. That is honestly awesome. Let's go ahead and grab in this left lane here. We cut that truck off, but that's okay. It is okay. But yeah, I have that as well. And if you guys do want to chat with me, the best place to do that is on Discord. So make sure you guys join that Discord server. Everything for this is down in the description down below. As well as if you guys do want to donate, I don't ask for donations at all. But if you guys do want to, there is a link for Streamlabs donations down in the description below. And if you guys do want to become a Patreon to myself, there is a Patreon link down in the description below. If you guys are doing three different tiers, uh, it's a monthly subscription. So if you guys want to check that out as well, y'all can. Not asking for your guys' money, but if you guys ever want to donate to the channel to help paying for new games and like new peripherals, new gear, stuff like that. Would definitely, definitely, definitely help out a lot if you guys would. I'm not asking you to, but just saying it, it, that option is out there and available. But here we are in Roswell, New Mexico. Very, very, very look nice looking town. Got a little donut shop there. Little, uh, I believe that's a shell or something like that. Oh, I thought that, that was us for a green light. That was an arrow. But you don't want to go on that. You do not want to go on that. There we go. Now we got the green light. Let's go ahead and set our GPS down to our next area, which we want to go to is Artesia, which is just straight down. So basically all of these are just straight down 285, and then once we get there, we'll get on two on 60. Okay, so yeah, we don't want to do that then. We don't want to do that, so we'll just keep going straight down uh, 285, and then we turn on 62, I believe is what it said, or 65. So 285 down to Artesia, and then get on, once we get into our Carl's bad. Turn on 62 to go to Hobbs. Okay. That works for me. That actually does work for me. So we keep taking a straight shot for the most part. We got a Chevron over here. We're good on, it looks like we are good on gas, so we're good there. Don't have to worry about getting gas or anything. It is 25 miles an hour coming through here, so we're going to start slowing down so we do not get a speeding ticket. Because we're not actually making any money for this load. We're just kind of gaining XP for free roam driving around. We're not actually gaining any money for this, unfortunately. So we're just kind of like driving around, just doing a cross-country road trip, which is something that I've actually wanted to do for a while now. Um, back in the day, my buddy and I, or my buddy and I, he actually moved out to Arizona. But him and I would always like have a dream that we would buy like an old school bus or an old city bus, turn it into like a camper, and kind of go like on an off or like a cross-country road trip. And that's something that I've kind of wanted to do for a while now is like either do that or get an RV and just kind of go on a cross-country road trip. I don't want to take the CVPI on a cross-country road trip because I want to keep the miles down on that. But yeah, that's something that I've wanted to do for a while now is just kind of go on like a cross-country road trip. Start at like California, go all the way up to New York or not New York, but all the way up to like Rhode Island and stuff like that. I feel like that'd be pretty awesome. Um... But yeah, I've watched a lot of the videos where it's like they're taking old school buses and turning them into like living houses or like campers and like stuff like that. So I'm thinking they're like, that's pretty cool. It's something I kind of want to do for myself like later on in life. Because I feel like it would be awesome to do and I'll preferably do vlogs on it if it does happen. 
But you know, like put put a router in there, put some Wi-Fi up in there, run it off the 4G towers. That'd be pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys have the same thing, but places that I really want to go, speeding offense, motherfucker. But yeah, places that I really want to go visit are like Texas, Alabama, and Georgia. Definitely want to go down to Texas. I'm more of like don't want to go down to the southern states, but I also want to go visit Montana and like. Uh, Nevada, go down to Vegas and stuff like that. I kind of want to go visit them as well because that would be pretty awesome. Got an angry whopper up there. Look at that thing, motherfuckers. But yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Places I've visited that I've actually enjoyed visiting are Indiana, Florida, Tennessee, and Kentucky. I thought we were merging here. I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, those are like the couple places that I actually enjoyed visiting. I enjoyed visiting Florida because I like the beach. Stuff like that. I like being on the beach. Uh, I've enjoyed Tennessee because I love country music and Tennessee is obviously home to Nashville, so I ended up enjoying that a lot as well. And then Kentucky only because, I don't know, I've always wanted to visit Kentucky and go to like the Louisville Slugger Museum and actually try some Kentucky bourbon and stuff like that. So, it was a fun time when I went down on those trips as well. Um, God, we're all over the fucking road in this thing. I'm going to set the cruise control. I'm definitely going to set the cruise control. We are all over the road. Don't mind that train horn. That's outside my window. But I like to add it in for like immersion as this actually in the game, even though it's outside my window. It looks like we gotta stop here. Or going down to a 60. So we'll do 62. We'll set the cruise at 62. Or 61, I guess. 61, I guess. Okay, we're coming down to a 40. Alright, so we're entering the Artesia city limits right now. That was pretty quick. Walmart's got a 50% off sale. Interesting. Want a Fanta? I, I don't actually want a Fanta. I want a Mountain Dew, but thank you. Thank you so much. So here we are. We discovered Artesia. So we basically got two more, which is going to be Carlsbad and Hobbs for the New Mexico, and we'll be good there. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is very, very awesome. Okay, okay. We're coming to a stop. We are coming to a stop. Coming to a stop. There we go. This is a nice-looking truck, though. I haven't actually... Whoa, that's interesting. That is very interesting. I don't know what the hell's going on in second. I don't know what the hell's going on over there, and I don't want to know what the hell's going on. That's really weird. We're just going to stick in first person for this trip, guys. We're just going to stick in first person for this trip. I'm not sure what's going on over there. But yeah, here is Artesia. If you guys are enjoying, do make sure you hit that like button if you guys are enjoying so far. If you guys like this old truck as well, do make sure you let me know down in the comments. Warning, zombies ahead. Oh, fuck my life. So we're going straight to Carlsbad, and then we're going to backtrack up to Hobbs. There's another iFlop restaurant right there. Another iFlop restaurant. But yeah, guys. That is pretty much that. Um, little repair shop, Napa down over here. But yeah, that's pretty it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's going to be taking a little road trip, road trip, road trip. But yeah, there was um there's actually out in Champaign over by like the strip malls and stuff like that. Why is that gate down? There's no train. Interesting. Maybe there's a train coming, I don't know. But over by the strip malls there is an actual like old camper. It's like an older camper, like from the old nineteen like the I don't wanna say like the fifties, but it's probably from like the seventies or the eighties or something like that. It's a very nicely old looking camper. It's a nice teal color too, which is my favorite thing about it. It's been sitting there for a few months, so I don't know if, like, it's just abandoned or if, like, anybody's, you know, living in it and stuff like that. But it's a very nice-looking camper, and if I could buy it, I would, but I don't... It doesn't have, like, a for sale sign or anything on it, no number to call. It doesn't even have license plates on it, so I'm assuming it's probably just abandoned. But it is a very, very nice-looking camper, and if I could buy it, I honestly would. But I don't know who to call to buy it or anything like that. So we're just going to get in this right-hand lane here and just screw around with it. There we go. Ain't getting no speeding ticket today, that's for sure. No speeding ticket today. But yeah, I don't know if you guys get them too. But I get a shit ton of robo calls, those fucking stupid spam calls. And of course, right now, I'm looking for a new job. So... Having jobs call me and the next thing you know having these like spammers fucking call me is a pain in the ass because they're like None of them don't even speak English but yet they know your name they know your information and shit like that which Kind of scares me a little bit that they know all that information about me and half the stuff they know about me I don't even know about me 
So like some of them you call you about your car's extended warranty and like uh, I don't have a warranty on the car because I bought it from a person. I didn't buy it from a dealership, so leave me the fuck alone. And then there was one saying that I owed like $50,000 in hospital bills to this one hospital that I never even went to and shit like that. So it's like these guys have like nothing better to do than to just sit there and call you and just harass you for the most part. It's like they have nothing better to do. I wish I could get a job like that where I just call random numbers and like disguise my phone number so nobody can call me back. And just kind of, you know, screw around with people. But I'd actually want to get a real job where I don't have to deal with that. I screwed enough people over at Dollar General, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Coming up to a 55. I think we're coming in. Yeah, we are coming into Carlsbad right now. So, this is actually a lot shorter of a trip than I figured. It was like 3,110 people in this town. So, we're going to have to be taking a left-hand turn on the 68 or 62 for Hobbs. That FedEx doubles right there. That's pretty awesome. Except FedEx doesn't actually have those doors. They have the roll-up doors. So once we do, when we ever we do FedEx, we'll end up um, uh, doing it properly. Not sure if Redaway has roll-up doors. I'm assuming they do. I don't know. I do not know. I don't know. But yeah, a little bit of a nighttime run here. Might actually make the sunrise here in New Mexico. I'm not sure though, depending on how long it takes us to get to Hobbs. I'm not too sure though. But yeah, if you guys do want to check out this truck, link will be down in the description below as well. Um, I was actually looking at a picture a few weeks ago. It was on one of the Discord servers that I'm in. And if you guys know about like Valor light bars on the police cars, like what the Valor light bar looks like, it's that like triangle looking one. Um, a lot of people actually have like the triangle, like the pointy part facing the front of the vehicle. There was actually one agency where I, someone posted a picture of where the light bar was facing backwards, so the triangle was facing towards the rear of the vehicle. And I'm sitting there thinking, that doesn't really make sense, but it looks somewhat nicer that way. It looks more clean that way. But supposedly it's on the wrong way. But it looked kind of cool. And it, I'll might have a show the picture of it in the video if I can find the picture, which I think I still have the picture. If I find that, I'll definitely have it like, in the video right here at this point. But yeah, I just saw that and I'm like, the fuck is going on with that? That looks weird. Absolutely looks weird. Okay, here we go. Coming up to another red light here. I believe that's going to be 62 right there. If I'm not mistaken. Look at my guy in the mirror. He's still got his arm on the seat over there. That's pretty cool. You still got those crank windows too, which is nice. So you don't actually have like a button to actually hit the windows. You actually got to do the work yourself and actually crank the window down yourself. Which is nice. And I love these older steering wheels too. It looks like we need to get some oil in this thing because the oil light's been on since we got this thing. We got to definitely get some oil in this soon enough, sooner rather than later. Uh, we don't actually even have to fill up for this trip, which is nice. There he is. Junction 62 is where we got to go. So definitely taking a left over here going to Hobbs today. Guess we're going to be following this guy. We'll be following this guy turning on Green Street. And of course they're not actually going to even make the turn. So we're just going to be stuck here forever. They're going to be stuck here forever. But another thing I did end up finding a whole bunch of like in the moving process I found all my whole all my like five old laptops and stuff like that and I actually have a um, not a portable charger but I actually have like charger adapters for the laptop so I can actually charge them up and stuff like that even though half of them you can't really charge you have to keep them on the charger but I ended up finding all of those and I found a lot of my old phones and stuff like that so I've started kind of going through them and I also found like a whole bunch of old CDs with pictures and stuff on them as well and flash drives and everything so I've been kind of going through them Trying to find different like ideas for content and stuff like that through everything. Maybe I had like pick through pictures and like different videos and stuff like that. So I've been going through all that as well as on top of unpacking, working on YouTube and looking for a job. So it's been a fun time so far. Definitely has been a fun time. But like I said, I've been looking for more like rail fanning content and like uh, just other content for YouTube and like pictures I see. Maybe there's something cool that I like saw that I can do for like America Truck Sim or I can do for like GTA 5 or whatever. So that's on the table right there as well. But here we are coming into the Pesos River. Picos, Pesos, Picos, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's 
It's one of the two. We got a raised hamburgers here, which is supposedly like an in and out type deal. I like that burger picture on the roof there. That's awesome. That's pretty cool looking. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But yeah, like I said, I've been just looking through my old phones and like laptops and just old picture CDs and stuff like that. Trying to get everything organized so that I have it all like in one area and I don't have like different documents and like different pictures spread out through all the different laptops and stuff like that. So that's just something that I've been working on as well. And we're still trying to get stuff out of my mom's house and still packing and or unpacking stuff. So it's just been a struggle for the most part. Definitely been a struggle for the most part. Not really a struggle struggle, but moving is just a pain in the ass to begin with. I fucking hate moving. I've moved so many times in my life already, and I'm only 23 years old. And I've moved a total of, oh, more than 10 times. I don't exactly remember how many times that it is now, but I've moved more than a total of 10 times. And this dude did not move over like he was supposed to. But yeah, moving is a absolute struggle, and I absolutely fucking hate it. And we gotta slow down because this Mustang here is being an ass asshole. I was actually supposed to use a Mustang for this video, but after the update, the uh, Mustang mod ended up not working properly. So, we ended up not using that and went ahead and used this instead. And I've got two other um, cars that I want to end up showing off here before another update happens so that it doesn't break on us because they're pretty cool. It's a Ford Transit and a Mercedes Sprinter mod. But yeah, so I definitely want to check those out as well. I believe we're still going straight to Hobbs. I don't think we're turning anywhere. As far as I know, a game is stuttering to hell again. We got Stevens Transport right in front of us here. I think we're probably going to get there about 5 in the morning or so. Definitely going to get there about 5 or so in the morning. Stevens Transport is in front of us like I mentioned earlier. I want to try to get in this lane here, but I don't know if I can. There we go. Alright, so here we are in Hobbs. Hotter and juicier quarter pounder. Nice, nice, nice. Coming into the city limits here. We actually unlocked the achievement for New Mexico now. We have seen all the places in New Mexico. And I kind of want to get back in this lane here. Only because I'm going to make a left over here and actually go into Hobbs. And not just, you know, look at everything off the main road. Here we go. Make this left over here. I'm just gonna go. Screw it. I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. I'm not gonna sit here and wait. Eh. No traffic citation. That's awesome. No citation for running a red light. That's awesome. Alright. So we got the car wash over here. We got Ned's. Make grilling great again. I like that. I absolutely like that. That is awesome. Make grilling great again. Oh. We got a train. We have a train. Where's it coming from? There he is right there. A little double stack train with some FedEx trailers. BNSF. FedEx and Chevron looks like it's going to be for the most part. Eh, not too long of a train. Kind of a short train, honestly. That bell mod actually does make it more realistic, which is nice. Yeah, it's all FedEx and Chevron for the most part. Interesting, 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 interesting. Let's let these gates go up, and then we'll go ahead and end this out at the uh, Walmart up here. There's two Walmarts in this town right down the road from each other, which is awesome. Not really. But I'm wondering if one's a distribution and one's just a regular Walmart. This looks like a distribution center. We can go down this. We'll actually just go straight to that one, because this looks like it's actually just a DC Come on, come on, come on. Green light, green light, green light. Oh, they have an arrow. Fuck this bullshit. This is a load of bullcrap. But yeah, Walmart, I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't surprise me because we have actually have four Walmarts within a span of 30 minutes of each other. So there's four different towns in this county that have Walmarts. And we'll actually just go over here. There's a Peterbilt. There it is. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, it is. It's right there. That's, that's also a distribution. the hell they're all distributions 
None of them are a store. Okay, well, we're not going to Walmart then. Guess we'll just go to that gas station at the end of the road over there and just get some snacks and stuff for the ride back home. But this is going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do want to see more ATS car mods, do let me know down in the description or let me know down in the comments below. And I will definitely try to find some more car mods that are compatible with this game out or with this game uh, mode, not mode, but game version and stuff like that. So, 99 cent beer, dollar 49 soda. Beer's cheaper than soda. What the fuck, man? That's cheap. We're gonna pull up here to this pump, and we're gonna end it here. Yeah, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it. Take care, everyone.